wonder how to handle files in Linux terminal, buckle up! First, let's connect to Linux machine securely. You can connect via SSH key or password authentication. Command who am I, check the users, pwd print working directory, ls list file and directory, and if you use ls-l, it's a long format that display details information about files and directory, and dash a will print all files included hidden files and directories. Change directory, cd space enter back to home directory and cd space two dot back one directory. To securely copy files and directories between two locations, we use SCP. SCP relies on SSH for data transfer, so it requires SSH key or password to authenticate on the remote system. Securely copy cybers.txt from my machine to my Ubuntu machine in cloud. Let's connect to the machine and check. Touch command used to make an empty file. You can pass multiple names separated with a space and it will create an empty file with those given names. You also could create multiple files with touch with same name and have added digits. Echo display lines of text or strings that are passed as an argument. You also can use this to add something to the file. Nano is a command line text editor. You open the file, edit it, add something to it, and then with Ctrl Y, you can save and exit the file. Vim is another command line editor is used by Linux Pro. Push escape and then I to write into the file and when you are done, push escape, colon, WQ to write and create the file. Cat is used to display the file content. And if the file is long, use less to show one page at a time. Use head to see the beginning of the file and tail to see the end of the file. CMP command compare two files, just showing if there is a difference. And if you want to know what are the differences, use command diff. It shows the differences in two files you compared. Sort command will sort your stuff alphabetically. WC word count used to count the number of new line, words, and characters in a given file. Shred maximizes the destruction of the data. It used to securely remove the data and after shred, the file can't be recovered. MKDIR create a new directory CP copy file into new directory or any places and we move the file into new place. RM used for removing the file. You can remove multiple file at the same command. RMD remove the directory. This command only remove if the directory is empty. If directory is not empty, you can remove it with RM-R which stand for recursive. I hope you found this video informative. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Until next time, stay secure, stay protected.